Hi and welcome back and I'm going to show you how we're going to bind our album and how we're going to finish it. So I took an awl and a self-healing mat and I just poked three holes through the pages and through the cover and now I'm just using some um, Baker's twine but it's actually a scrapbook product and I'm just going to start from the back, leave a little tail, thread it through and then I'm going to just knot it. Very simple um, binding here, but it, it works phenomenally well. So that's the thing. And now I'm just going to cut off the extra pieces, leave a little piece. And there you can see uh, the album pages are done. Now we're just going to quickly make the cover. So I did use this coffee sleeve on my album, but I don't know why, <laughs> because in the end, I painted over it and you can't really see it. So um, I adhered it just with a little glue and now I'm just using some red paint and I'm going to paint over my cover. Okay, so if you have a white cup, because usually the Starbucks cups are white, then um, you can just paint any color really, or you can leave it white, you can paint splatter it. There's so many ways to you know, to finish it off, I'm just using a little bit of pink uh, red here, just painting roughly. I just want to cover up all the black marks. So this is a way to bring some calm to your page or you can actually um, just add any color you want. So it's not, there's no right or wrong. Okay, and now I'm going to use this star stencil and I'm going to dab through it with some soft gel and then I'm going to sprinkle some glitter over it. So when you dab through a stencil, you have to work with a very dry um, sponge and, and you have to work very lightly. Otherwise, um, you'll see how it's going to smudge behind the stencil. And I'll show you because guess what happened? Right, you guessed it. So I should have worked a little lighter there through the stencil. And then, um, and I'm just dabbing here and there. You can see how the stars, the stars just smudged. But that's okay. You know what? I've, I've just adapted this whole philosophy that whatever happens, happens. You know? So there I sprinkled some gold over it. And now I'm just going to adhere my illustration for the front. So when you um, go to iHeart Studio, you can find the little illustrations. It's iHeartStudio.ca forward slash bears. And you will find these little bears that I created. And in uh, as part of the illustration package is this little reef that you can put on the front. And I'm just going to find a little sticker that is one and a half inches and I'm going to slide it underneath the reef and you can write on the Merry Christmas or whatever. So this is a lovely little album to give as a gift and I'm actually making mine as a gift uh, for a family member. Okay, so now the your album is bound up, the cover is decorated and now we're just going to start with um, adding our little illustrations, our photos and little details. I printed a bunch of pictures of my girls, um, two inches by two inches more or less. And I have a ton of chipboard sheets, um, beautiful chipboard embellishment sheets and with these little frames. So I'm going to use some of them on my page. Here's one of the little bears. And uh, sometimes it's just hard to figure out exactly where you want your bear to, to go because um, it's easier said than done. My advice to you is do not stick it down unless you're very certain where you want it to go. So I use a little bit of hot glue. The only thing that I would say is that you have to work as thinly as possible because your album bulks up quite a bit. So I would um, actually prefer, I actually prefer using double-sided tape and um, then rather than hot glue. 
but you know what hot glue can work uh, if you want to adhere certain pieces that you are concerned that might fall off because that's the reason why I love hot glue and now I have these stickers bottom holds beautiful black words and I'm just going to add them to the page and there you can see the first page is done I'm just making sure um, that the camera is focused because it's happened to me before that I've filmed the whole video without it being in focus so yeah so now I'm just carrying on and this is just how I'm going to approach every little page if I use an illustration that has that stretches over two pages I just cut it so that it can fold properly because otherwise you'll have trouble um, with the paper when it folds and um, I'm going to show you something now so here's the chipboard sheet and I'm going to use that little frame uh, that's black and white and what I do is because chipboard is quite thick I just peel off some of the chipboard from the back and then the frame is a little here you can see the chipboard you can see it's thick and I'm just peeling off a few layers of chipboard until the frame is a little thinner just be careful not to tear it and now I'm just gonna cut it a little smaller I don't want the Polaroid frame I just want it to be square so I'm just gonna cut it and then I'm just gonna put it around my photograph and there you have the beautiful frame but without the bulk so that's the the nice thing you can you don't have to always do this but just for the sake of making this little album you don't want to work too thickly otherwise it's going to be too bulky so um, adhering just the little pieces together and then I have these little um, scraps of paper that's black and white so I have stripes and black on white and white on black and all sorts of little um, textures and and I'm just going to use these as embellishments on my page almost like washi tape and then I also have a washi tape you can see it there in the left hand side picking out um, white washi tape with black little hearts which is beautiful and also very appropriate for Valentine so again when you make these um, little pages remember that you can translate it so easily into cards or tags the same idea applies right you just might have to cut your illustrations a little smaller so I am almost done with this page just gonna add a couple of words and I love these black um, background words with white lettering on it what I also love is how the pages talk to each other I love how that um, the two different textures and and patterns go together right and here again the classic struggle of figuring out where to put your image where to put your photograph and then I decided just to put them on top of each other problem solved and I'm gonna cut the illustration because I want to add it on the other side I'm using double-sided tape I love the Tombow double-sided tape for me it just works really really well there I use some washi tape and a few words and now I'm just going to um, again add a photograph this time I'm going to use photo corners to just adhere them to my page just going to slide it the I love to use photo corners and I love using it on I love using it on scrapbook layouts as well and again finding the perfect place for the little bear and I'm just going to use again Tombow double-sided tape I love the tape and you know why because you can buy the refills you have to buy the refills and and so I don't know I I've struggled a very long time to find the double-sided tape that I really love and this is the one and now just that pop of black which is beautiful and I'm tearing it off and just placing it on the other side 
So that's how simple this page is. I'm loving how it comes together. I love these little pages that you can design. So it's this miniature design um, exercises, which is beautiful. And I'm just going to add, again, the black words, which is beautiful. It just makes it pop. And it goes so quickly. This one, I just added a frame again with a picture of one of my girls and then the white bear, which I felt really worked against the red background. The only thing about red paint is remember that it might look like blood. So I don't like to splatter with red paint. But you've, I think if you've listened to enough of my videos, you've probably heard me say that. And then I used the pink with gold hearts washi, which is actually a Valentine project uh, product. And I'm also going to use the white with the little black hearts, which is beautiful washi. And I'm just going to tear it off there and then just add a couple of words here and there. And then also a little tag. There you can see the little tags, just these little tiny, um, Tim Holtz make them so that the brand is Tim Holtz. And you can buy this little booklet at Michael's with these little tags. Some of them are red, some of them are black. And then for the last page, I'm just going to add a bear and a little strip of black and white and then a tag. And I'm going to use the word from because I will probably say uh, made with love from me and then um, this is a little gift that I can send away. So thank you so much for watching today's episode, this little Christmas special. Here you can see the complete album um, without anything written in it, but I'll, I'll fill it in. Um, all the pages, I love how they work together, the different textures, but so, so cute. This page, probably my favorite one. No, this one. I don't know. I can't pick. I uh, love the gold working with it. So simple, so easy to make. So much fun. Remember, go to iheartstudio.ca forward slash free coffee and you can find a whole little workshop with a lot of videos where I teach this little album. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.